up we will hear from Camille Brousseau and Sabrina Gonzalez. Um, they are high school students and um, active youth involved in Temple Haboni. and this is Sabrina Gonzalez. We are both students at Barrington High School. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to what we have to say today. We are here because we are two young women living in Rhode Island who think the issue of reproductive rights is one of great importance to our state. In 1973, the Supreme Court decision of Roe versus Wade gave every woman in America the constitutional right to have reproductive choice. Recently, there has been a strong objection to legalized abortion and a movement wanting to overturn Roe, subsequent Supreme Court decisions upholding a woman's right to choose, and to re restrict reproductive rights on a national level. If Roe versus Wade were to be overturned or restricted, the women of Rhode Island would be left without any protection or legal rights to make their own reproductive decisions, as there are no protections for safe and legal abortion in Rhode Island state law. Currently, the Rhode Island House of Representatives has already passed the Reproductive Privacy Act, age 5125. We are now asking for the Rhode Island Senate to support the Reproductive Health Care Act, S-152. The Reproductive Health Care Act will ensure protection of the current legal framework protecting the right to safe legal abortion as it exists today under Roe v. Wade subsequent Supreme Court decisions and Rhode Island law. Our state needs to act now because the women of Rhode Island deserve reproductive choice. This important piece of legislation will protect those freedoms across the state. As young, as young women living in Rhode Island, we acknowledge that there is a chance that we could end up in a situation where we would have to deal with an unwanted pregnancy. We both want the opportunity to make an educated and meaningful decision regarding that. We believe that women are capable of making the right decisions and that politicians should not be making the decision for us. Women should make the decision in determining the proper time or whether to become parents. We have heard countless stories of women who do not have this choice and constantly deal with negative repercussions. We fear not only for ourselves, but for our sisters and friends throughout the state and country who may not have access to these life-changing decisions, especially women who come from marginalized communities. Thank you to all of the representatives who have signed on the Reproductive Privacy Act, H5125. We highly encourage our Rhode Island senators to support and sign on to S152, which is a very important piece of legislation. 